top of the moon Started at the bottom Dreamt of a Hellcat Now I got it Dreamt of a Corvette Now I got it Taking big leaps of faith No doubts about it Made my mama proud Made my mama proud Every time she see me nigga, He just cracks a smile I made my yeah, mama proud Made my mama proud If you know like I know Top of the mook is back Episode 53 What's happening? Hey, you know I was going to try for the new edition, new edition Was you? Yeah, they were like, man, but you got to be You know what I'm saying? We got to wear the same suits and all that I said, hey, bitch, I ain't wearing the same suits as you niggas You got to be different Yeah, I got to You got to be full and they're like, no, nah, you can't do it. So the the jig is up. So I'm thinking about getting, getting me a regular day, but I'm singing. I'm thinking I'm getting a little bit better at the singing. Uh, sound good to me, brother. Yeah, don't be lying, man. We go to the studio you, today. What they say? What the young nigga say? Don't be capping, man. The capper. Why you capping, man? Put the cap on. <laughs> <laughs> you got the caps on, don't you? Yeah, always <laughs> captions. Hey, man. Well, speaking of cap, gotta let's be not be up. capping. Well, don't make do sure y'all go to Five Star Google, man. Give all the reviews on the uh, Apple, uh, Apple podcast. Yeah, I got my words all tangled up, but it's all right. Guess what? We back here, baby. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all don't be capping over there. Make sure y'all get the top of the uh, MOOC reviews. God damn, get f- it up, man. It's okay, brother. Get your mind right. Hey, it's your fault, brother. I don't know why it's your fault, but I'm going to say it's your Breathe fault. Breathe through your nose, man. Make me feel better. There you go. Bless yourself. Make sure y'all go to Apple. Give five-star reviews. Don't be capping on there. Get some real Get some real understanding. You know what I'm saying? Let us know how y'all f- with Top of the Mook, man. And make sure you go to Top of the Mook Podcast Clips. Subscribe. Top of the Mook Instagram. Top of the Mook TikTok. Everything. Top of the Mook everything. Top of the Mook Hey, podcast, if you're on here on YouTube right now, this is a, this is my favorite way of uh, viewing Top of the Mook is on YouTube. Top yeah, of the I like to, yeah, I like to watch the, the podcast. Watch and see yeah. and listen. Yeah, I rarely, rarely listen to it on the streaming platforms, yeah. any podcast. I probably never have, to tell you the truth. Yeah. It's always the YouTube. Even if I'm just listening to it, I got the YouTube red, so yeah. the premium YouTube, so I can still listen to it on my oh, phone. Oh, yeah, you know, me too, brother. It plays yeah, a vital role. Yep. So I, that's how I listen to it. Turn the phone off and just. Yeah, that's the and way. And then when I'm ready to look again, just. Uh huh. I just turn it on, lay there, boop, and then be listening to the, the podcast. So. Yep, 100%. Or I'm just looking at it when I do have time. But yeah, man, that's the best way to do it. So make sure yeah. y'all comment here, too. You know what I mean? We do look at, I know I do look at all the comments and try to interact as much as I can on a universal level, not yeah. the roasters. And like, you know, some of them like me roasting the people on the I top know, of the like, Stop commenting to people. <laughs> <laughs> so I just give it love. Sometimes you can't have yourself, though. I, of course I can't. You know what I'm saying? I'm, excuse I'm me. retarded. But, uh, but yeah. Oh, yeah, fully, excuse me. But with that said, too, also, if you need any promotion, partnerships, you know, shout outs, whatever. Product placement. Product placement. Make sure you hit us up at ball or nothing else at yahoo.com. Or or hit us on Instagram, Mr. Organic is one word. Um, make sure that's what it can set up a C. It's the blue check mark Mook. And uh, also hit Slim up over there at Tall Guy, man. Car reviews. Still Tall Guy car reviews? Guy? Yeah, we working with me and Jazz. We're working oh, with tough, the, uh, Instagram people. You want to take away the blue yeah, Mook? Nah, gotta, come on, brother. Got to keep the record. Because I was just trying to put the Tall Guy there. Yeah, shout out to my guy Elon Musk, man. Yeah. He's working on... Uh, I might even change it to my government type. Oh, for real? Yeah, the jig is up. Real estate, don't understand that. The jig is up. We got but, we got update with that coming soon too. And that's crazy. Speaking of blue check marks, that nigga uh, Elon Musk is is thinking about charging people twenty dollars a month to keep their blue check verification. Damn. Yeah. He ain't acting that dumb. He want his money back, man. No, he acting that dumb. Yeah, he, he's tw- and people gonna pay it because you want to keep that. Ver- uh, it means something. But I think like people can also like pay for their own like blue checks too. With the fraudulent moves? Oh, like he could pay him to get a You pay a, monthly, like $8 oh. a month or something like that. Damn. Or something, yeah. That ain't going to be blue check. That take away the velocity. But it's way easier to get a Twitter blue check mark anyway than Is it? Instagram. Yeah, way easier. Oh, okay. Regular, regular peons. Even I don't even be regular, on Twitter. Even though me either. Even though it's some regular peons on Instagram with them, but on Twitter, it's way more regular goddamn pedestrians. With the it's like, mark. you know, uh, the easiest way a lot of niggas have them is if they play overseas basketball, they, a lot of them niggas be verified. Yeah. They yeah, have 20 followers verified. Yeah, 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 for sure. Crazy. Or, or like something that they could just look up real quick with some news articles and shit, what it really is about. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, just verify yourself. But yeah, shout out to Elon But hey, I'm happy Elon Musk, man. One thing I'm excited about, Elon Musk make that full purchase of uh, Twitter, that $44 billion. And it was such a blessing to me. You know, I'm doge heavy. And the, the rumblings is that he's going to make people pay for their badges with Dogecoin. Mm. So if we do that, gonna make Dogecoin shoot up even higher and higher. That'd be higher. that's smart though. I think it's very smart. I think that's what he should damn do. Cause people gonna pay for it. I need him to do that now. 
You know what I'm saying? People gonna pay. I think they should, because also, and he put a, a little uh, inkling of that because he on Halloween he put a, a picture of his dog, which is a Shiba Inu, yeah. with the Twitter shirt on. So <laughs> try, with the blue check mark too, like that, like the bird with the mm. blue check mark. So he's trying to say like Doge, you gonna Tweety get bird. your like you get your blue check mark with it. Mm. So if he, that's why Doge went up to that 15, 16 cent, okay, which is a beautiful number. You know what I'm saying? Keep going, guys. Come on, everybody, buy Doge, man. Please, <laughs> man. We need that. Shit the roof came at the perfect time. We're in the bear market. We need that money up, baby. Shout out to Elon Musk with the Twitter. Twitter. Okay, what else we got here, man? Oh, let's let's talk about this video of Diddy, man. Is the volume up there? Oh, yeah, TV we was talking about this on the last episode. But we now y'all now y'all get the full understanding. <laughs> so let's just watch this first. Look at the laugh. <laughs> you can watch how you go in and out. Look, look, get real, watch it. He got to real. It, yeah. He planned it to get serious. Look, and they type by Polar for real. Yep. You wanna have a love? Shut up, dude. Bust your shit. Nah, hey, he broke character. He did break character. Twice. Then he get calm. They got little goons running too behind the side. The goons, they see the neck to the side. Yo, I don't know what you're talking about, nigga. And the security, David Seal Mooks. Who that nigga look like? Don't know who I am. I don't know. Smith. Oh, ha, ha, ha. just like a, the gestures and everything, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the brain. Everything. The brain. Like he looking like. Right there. Like this, looking at him like B. Smith. You know who I thought he was at first on Quick Glance as soon as I seen it? What? Only Quick Glance. John Jones. Oh, that's funny. I swear I thought it was him for it. Like, don't you see it on the Quick Glance? That nigga remind me of B. Smith, man. Yeah, that's How funny. How stand there looking yeah, at him? Schmitty. What? What, nigga? What? <laughs> what, nigga? F*** you, nigga. Hilarious. My nigga Didi went nuts. F***ing hilarious, man. Yeah, dude from Power 2. Did you ever, you watch him in the FR? Nope. Yeah. I've never seen him in Power. Probably oh, the yeah. episode that uh, I stopped the season... When Ghost got killed, I didn't watch after that. Oh uh, no, he was yeah, he was in that one. For real? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who was what role he played? Uh, when he, when he I remember the light skinned nigga and him and the white nigga. I thought he was in that one. I, I don't remember a minute. I, I ain't see him in it, bro. Okay, you sure I you watched know. all the one with Ghost? When Ghost got killed, his son killed yeah. him. You watched every episode of that season? Probably not every one. Okay, there you go. That's what was he did. a heavy role in that moment? Nah, it was just in and out tight. Like my role on Tails. Hey, everybody go watch Tails on BT. <laughs> you guys did pretty good with that though, bro. Thank you, brother. Like you. you did really good. You know? I appreciate it. Everybody look like a natural, brother. They're, they're saying I'm though. I'm serious, bro. Because I felt good natural. You had the milk that extra shiny that day, didn't I you? I did though. Yeah, they had, had the, the whole raisin that out. They had the barber motherfucker there that really put the extra. Oh, he put the razor blade on that. Nah, I ain't razor him up. Oh, okay, okay. They hit that extra with the clippers. Right you didn't want to clip the meat tight. Yeah, you might got them bubble up. That was just a razor? I don't never do razor. How would the. How, no, the that was just a clipper? I always just So how would the razor look though? That motherfucker was that shiny? It's already that. With the clippers? It's natural Nigga, I ain't geographic. Clippers. Get that goddamn low. My natural geographic. I thought to do a, well, Let me not sound ignorant. Nope. So I, I I didn't know you could ball the clipper. I thought yeah. it had to be razor every with time. The, with the liners. I use the liners. Oh, shit. The gray liners. Them bitches sharp. Can't that be scalped to hit too though? Nah, them bitches get you right. That's what I use. My thing scalped up and just. Keep I thought you was just good at it. But I'm gonna tell you the extra secret though. I'm gonna know how I get like that. I ain't give you the full understanding. Okay, talk to me. So it's a, it's the inmate shit though. You know that magic shave? You ever seen the nigga have magic shave in there? The little shh. That. But it's no, it's coming like a tube. Oh, hell no. You can use it, but you can use it for your head too. Huh? So it's magic shave. It's like nair almost. So after you hit it with the clippers, you put that magic shave on your shit for ten minutes, and your shit boom. Bowling ball. Yeah, it's the Damn. magic shave. That's the extra. I, I'm leaving out Okay, how about I wouldn't you Hopefully I don't ever Gotta find out You will soon no, I God see right damn, there brother, in the front. Come on, shit I got a calic, brother The gene is up It's a calic, brother The gene is up I gave you, you two years No, oh, shit Tight week no, Misery Love Company God damn <laughs> Show new. Come on, let's go dance <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby Come on, Madonna But but no, nah, it's um yeah you hit the clippers and they get it most of the time I just hit the clippers but I got more time I got that magic shave right. I get it from him everybody is the magic shave you go to Amazon I'm gonna pull it up pull it up on there slap it on there Mister Clean what yo shit motherfucker Montel yep for sure I'm trying to tell you boy um magic shave man hold on man get you that's right. crazy I ain't know that yep I ordered from Amazon get that shit about the cream that must get you right magic man. shave cream right man. here this one that's the one right there boy you see. get this here. Oh, no, I've never spin. seen that. For the ball head. There you go. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm leaving out. I can't leave out yeah, nutrients on my people. Yeah, you got to give them the secret Let me bless ingredient. Y'all want that good, smooth scalp without That's like the shit Bugs Bunny was drinking in the Space Jam, dude. 
That's something like that. For the bald head. Yeah, it's a yeah. secret concoction. Secret sauce. Man. That right there, you catch shit with them clippers, you put that bitch on for like five, three, ten Only three ninety nine too. That's yeah, cheap. Hmm. You put that bitch on for like motherfucking eight minutes, I go pick it up. Ain't got nothing available. I always got to order. See, they don't be having at the place. They used to be at Target. I bet you high demand. I go on. Yep, it is. They be yeah. gone. You never can get them. You got to get them off Amazon, though. Damn. Get that magic shape, your shit got down. So milk. it says for razor bumps too, so you use it for your face too, huh? Not, nah, I mean, you know, niggas have a razor bump on the head. The head oh, bump. okay. See, shit, I don't know, yeah, but I'm learning. Cl- it's a closer shape than a razor, so it helps oh. with razor bumps. So yeah, this is the shit, boy. That shit do be looking fucking when you get them bumps type. Yeah, you, you see that, nigga with yeah, them bumps? You get them Definitely you got that extra taco meat back there? Yeah, if you got like, that extra goddamn uh, bun in the oven type? Yeah, you got that Cleon on the forehead oh, on the back of the move right there. Yeah. It's over with. Yeah, yeah. But you usually can't get those removed. But yeah, this the shit right here. You get this magic shave razorless for the ball skis now. Smooth ball head maintenance. That's it. They need to sponsor uh, me, actually. Where the sponsorship? Yeah, 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 for sure. Holla at them. I'm, get, I'm get right here up. on top of the move. Uh, hey, hello. What's up? You can double up. Mr. Organ and top of the move. There you go. <laughs> get both. <laughs> That's yeah. crazy, though. So so with that shit right there, yep. every time it's just... No shit the most. But how often does it grow back, though, to where, but, like, how often do you got to keep doing that? Man, any, anything with a shave head is going to be, it's a maximum of the shit, really, two to three days. Your shit God. Yeah, you type niggas. Niggas who really shave this shit like Michael Jordan's on them. They, they they wake up, do it every morning. For real? Just like you shave niggas shave their beard. Yeah, like niggas with the, 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 know, the booty the booty mook face. Yeah, them niggas wake up like white men. I don't wake up and shave. They do it every morning. Every day. Yeah. To yeah, keep it extra. Nigga, he was locked up. Nigga, them niggas that be shaving, they shave oh, every, yeah, niggas be on every, every day. Yeah. Soon they wake up as part of their brushing their teeth. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. So that's how the niggas who shave their head. Cause my that. little whiskers and shit, them motherfuckers be growing back fast too. So, so yeah. it's like yeah, that makes so sense. So there you go. So okay. if you really want a smooth Steve Harvey move, it's yeah. every every morning. Uh. But I can't. I don't do all that shit. I do my shit there. Sometimes I go weak. Fuck it. I wear hats yeah. all the time. But anyway. Jefferson, George yeah, Jefferson, Jefferson grow back, growing yeah. a little bit, not too fuzzy, but it get a little bit of rim. I ain't never seen you. I ain't never seen you with like the baby fro type though. Nah, why would you I? say that? That'd be funny though. You say that do that one time. Just, I wanted to do that. Yeah, just let that bitch grow in one time. Just yeah. let that motherfucker. Let, I wanted to do that. <laughs> I want to do that'd it during be, COVID. <laughs> that'd be hard, nigga. Yeah, I want to do that shit. My shit are growing fully. I'm going to have a full afro, though. Yeah, but where would it split, though? Is it nah, gonna be... it ain't going to split. My shit going to be Richard Pryor. All of it? Yeah, it all grow oh, in. Oh, shit, you going to get the Mayweather motherfucker. Yeah, I can do it if I want to. Oh, yeah. You Lying like could. a motherfucker. My shit be Joe They say Jefferson. turkey the motherfucking spot You're talking about get it re Yeah, fuck it if you got to. re I ain't trying to re So re-upholster. you saying it will be full without the... Yeah, I, I just cut it kind of like a bald head, brother. Oh, okay. Oh, that's personal choice. Okay. Yeah. Whatever you say, bro. Long it's your story. story. I'm going to let you tell it. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of that, yes. before I get to some of this news, I had a question. No, it ain't a question. I had a theory. Because, it's, you know, chicks got all the BBLs getting their ass done and all that, right? Right. You know you're a married man, man, right? What, what is that? Love it, Slim. Go subscribe. But Shout out to my wife, Jack. So it's like, smile. hey, cheese, man. But uh, I was there, brother. Halloween Cherry. just passed. Chicka cheese. Jack Lena. <laughs> 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 but yeah, it was, what's uh, the question though? So it's like me personally. When I see a chick with, you know, you know when they got a fake ass for the most part, or right, they right. even tell you they open with it for the most part yep. nowadays, and that's fine. I don't got no problem with them, right? Right. But I just don't see them on the same level of a natural woman with a fat ass and worked out and got it that mm-hmm. way from DNA. I don't put them on the same pedestal. You know what I'm saying? Like, baby, thinking they all bad, they got fake ass. You be looking like, bitch, get the fuck out of that ass. Fake, bitch, you're not relaxed. What if it looks natural, though? Uh, okay, it looks. I, mm-hmm. It look good. I okay. like the look. Okay. Now, don't get me wrong, oh, but right. I'm not going to have them in the same regard as a natural woman that's DNA, they worked out, or they just built like that. Right, right. I don't put them in the same regard. They shouldn't be. They shouldn't be, right? I agree. I'm not tripping, right? I agree. So I look at you like, bitch, you cool, but that's fake. Like, get the fuck out of here. So a chick said to me, like, Okay, but what if a, she's trying to compare money because they like to compare body, women, beauty to money to guys, right? right. And I said, nope, let's, let me get a scenario okay. and it's going to break it down to make sense how I look at it. I'm curious to hear it. If a nigga work out swole, three of I worked out my whole life, worked mm-hmm. out, boom, boom. Even a nigga cheat and do the extra shit like some niggas do, HGH, mm-hmm. whatever, they still got to go or work out. Or you with TRT. No, I ain't do nothing. No. So, but niggas still got to <laughs> go. Let me stop because people might think I'm serious. But so. niggas still got to yeah. work out. So, even right. if you don't do the extra shit, but you just work out, but you worked out, got swole, right? right. You're going to look at it a certain way. Right. But if a nigga went and got the surgery and pumped up muscles and fake abs and chest and arms and got it fake like women do body, it looked right. good. Looked just like a bitch ass and nigga swole looking crazy. Right. But he but paid for, for it. Right, right. But he paid for the body that way. Is a bitch going to look at that nigga like, man, he, he ferocious? Or like, look at this goof ass nigga. Really, you ain't the same as this nigga. You know what I'm saying? I think women are a little bit more hypersensitive to shit. So they, they, I think they would. No way. But I don't think niggas is. 
I mean, nigga better not. But I'm saying, yeah, like, yeah, but I'm, I'm saying, about as far as understanding women. and respect of the understanding, right? So I, don't, I know women ain't gonna respect the nigga that's doing that. They ain't gonna be like this nigga ferocious. And he being vocal about it. He, they know, we know. Okay, they know. Then, yeah, like then, you know, no, no, yeah, you got not, to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they, you know, this bitch, bus, her ass and shit is fake. Her body and all that fake. And you got a natural. Okay, bitch look just as good. They know. No, no. Yeah, the bitch know you because went to the doctor. That's what women do. Right. So she might. <sighs> depends on the woman. Because if she ultra bird brain, I don't think it'll matter. She gonna roast that nigga eventually. Like, man, get your fake body ass nigga up out of here, man. <laughs> blue, up, blue up dog back having that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, bitch ain't gonna respect yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No real woman will. Right. No real woman so that's, will. That's why I try to tell her, like, I and I, I'm not mad. I like it. I fuck them all, bro. Don't ever get and it. What did she say? Did she say she'd be cool with it? She understood what I was saying. She's like, no, you're right. It is weird. You okay. know what I'm saying? Because yeah. she got her body done. So she's yeah. trying to take care of trying to take up for it. No, don't take it personal. I like it. Right. But I'm just saying, I'm, if I see a bitch that's natural, I know she worked out and came right, from natural, right. I'm going to look at her a little different than you. Yeah, I'm just yeah. keeping it pure. Yeah. I mean, a nigga went and blew his body up fake, didn't work out nothing, just went in there and shot himself with insulin. Yeah. Just walked, come on, bro. Like, nigga, to a nigga that worked out slow, yeah. like, you're going to yeah. look at them niggas different. For sure. So that's what I was saying. Like that Because, shit. you know, they always say that, women always say they don't want it to be a double standard, but when it comes to men doing something that a woman do, then it's like, because that's like a nigga being ultra sensitive and shit. Right. Right? Like, you know what I'm saying? The women, it's okay for women to be sensitive, but if the man becomes sensitive, that's just on some basic level shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. So if you imagine adding all the attributes of the physical move, yeah, they definitely ain't. I don't, I don't see no real woman really respecting that and respecting you. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, that's just all I'm saying. Like, that's, but, so that's how I see it. So I, make, I try to make them see how I see it. Like, Ain't nothing wrong. Do what you ever do to make you right. look good. But For bitch, sure. don't ever think I'm looking at you like a, a regular bad natural bitch came from the seed, DNA worked out. Nigga, yeah, what? Bitch ain't organic, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> like, I'm going to fuck you. I'm going to fuck with you. But bitch, don't ever get so, it. So what do you think a woman respect the most? Big, fat, out of shape, embarrassing dude type, just but confident or or just uh, the full botch job type with the understanding? I mean, bitches are gonna go with confidence over anything. I believe so too. Because they more cerebral than physical for the most part. You know what I'm saying? For sure. It That's helps okay. when you got the whole understanding, but if you no got question. your you got you, know, you already know nigga who talk the best got the baddest bitches, you understand me? Like I just go with it. Yeah. It, but if you got all of it together, of course you just colossus coming through just yeah. crushing everything. But if a nigga got that talk game in fact, maybe bitches don't give a fuck, especially you got some satchel bread with him. Yeah. It's over with. And I think if you want to learn from anything with like celebrities, some understanding is that if you're not confident in your in your natural habitat self, you ain't gonna be confident once you add all them extra man made attributes. It's, it's just gonna help. keep a uh, it's gonna be a downward spiral of trying to find more things to make you feel more confident and you become your confidence is uh is a uh, contingent with your surgeries. Yep. You know what I'm That's saying? true, and you're gonna keep doing more and more and different, and different. You're gonna be chasing, like you sent me that thing of dude just saying, no matter what it is, if you're chasing all the time, you're never gonna be satisfied. Facts. Constantly chasing new thrills and new items to buy, and new. You gotta be happy yeah. with yourself and just enjoy life. Yeah. That chase is cool if you're going after goals, want to have fun. But if you're, I need this. I need to feel this, this to do this. It's a wrap, nigga. Yeah. You're never gonna get satisfied. Facts. It's impossible. You know what I'm You're saying? You're gonna be a well paid, well accomplished, insecure ass motherfucker. Facts, man. You gotta be happy with what you got sometimes and just enjoy your damn self, man. Yeah. Enjoy nature and enjoy scenery, nigga, for real. Yeah, hundred you know percent. I'm saying that shit count. Yeah, I think I think it's safe to say. Like, I think some is it. Would you give it? Would you say it's a safe analysis to say like the most successful people are often the most insecure? Like the ones with the most, like the money, money. I'm talking about like the Jeff. I think the ones that you know were nerds their whole life and they there got money, go. they, they found success and now they got it. Ain't too many real niggas that win on a big super. I know, that's you, a fact. You know so what I'm saying? It's super rare. Yeah. So, like, majority of motherfuckers are because they've been fighting their whole life and when they got it, yeah. they figured that that's going to give them the advantage and now I can feel like this. To beat the real niggas. still don't matter. Yeah, you still yep. can't beat no yep. real niggas. Yep. So, you're still going to be losing. You're still yep. trying to prove yourself. You still got to say, I got this, I got that, I can do this and that. Now you're yep. used for that. Yep. So, now you're like, damn, this bitch using me because I got this. Yeah, nigga, that's what you presenting to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, now you're in the endless cycle of fucking. And, then, and the women fucking you, but they getting fucked by the real niggas still. Oh, every time. Cause a they, real nigga never fail. They, you can never, uh, you can never uh, uh, scratch that itch for that woman, boy. Right. So you had to be securing yourself from the yeah. seed, and it's hard when you, you know, if you're a person that just was focused on success and you never had a great personality, did all the other stuff, you just knew how to get money and be a, a statistical guy and all that shit. Yeah. Man, yo, man, listen up. You better be secure with your fucking self, bro. Facts. Because that money ain't gonna help you. No, it's They're not. gonna make it worse because you gonna know because you're too smart. You know, goddamn well the bitch using you. Yep, that's you know, a goddamn fact. well all these niggas on my house using me, just use me for my. That's why them niggas be so unhappy. For sure. Yeah. 
So you're trying to buy weird. your way into some shit. Right. I, nigga, I don't give a When I got my bread, I just fuck air. I don't need none of you motherfuckers anyway. <laughs> I like to be by myself. I don't need you bitches. I like me. I like to make yeah. me happy. I look in the mirror, nigga, with the jury on, be like, nigga, look at me. Yeah, I don't yeah. got to be around no motherfuckers. Uh, you enheightened yourself. Yeah, I've been in the crib. Yeah. Nigga, fuck all you yeah. motherfuckers. When I was broke, I was out all the time getting joy. Let me get around y'all. Hey, gas me up. Now I get a nigga. I know what I am. I got to get back. All I got to do is look at myself. Yeah, I don't need you. Yeah. I need you when I, the only thing I had the money. So I need I don't that. need no more gas. I need that gas then. Yeah. Oh, the, hey. You stay on a full tank now. Come on, man. There ain't nothing to talk about. As soon as the little gas go away, you just top it off. Man, come on, man. I go to the garage. <laughs> I go to the jury shade. Don't I go matter. to the guns. I go to the portfolio of women I didn't saute. Yeah. Stop. I'm good. Uh, yeah, no. God, come I look on, at man. all my shit. I'm cool, bro. Yeah. God, God is great. So, yeah, for sure. you know, so for those who have that personality, um, just know that, you know, get your success behind that. And then, you know what I mean? You be good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, keep yeah. your confidence high and keep your um, hustle alive. For sure. But be have internal, have that internal happiness from yep. the seat. You got confidence, you get any woman you want in this world, man. That's a fact. And then you can earn the rest. You can always do the other shit. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? You can always get confidence, though. That's a fact. That's some real shit, man. Yeah. But all oh, got some other organic news here. Top of the move news. $26 million to two men who were wrongfully convicted in the 1965 assassination of Malcolm X. The state of New York will pay an additional $10 million to 84-year-old Muhammad Aziz and to the family of Khalil Islam, who died in 2009. Aziz spent 20 years in prison. Islam served 22 behind bars. Last year, a judge dismissed both convictions after the Manhattan DA's office revealed crucial evidence was withheld in the trial more than 50 years ago. I remember watching with the other dude when he's on the bench talking outside. That was that about. documentary on Netflix. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah like, so he's dead now? No, he's alive. Okay, okay. But one of them guys did die. Right. And the nigga who really shot and really killed them died too. Uh, but he, he died, died a free man. Oh, for sure. He never yeah. went to jail. Yeah, he was chilling. Right. They that's took care of him. They yeah. took care of him over there in New Jersey. Yeah. He, was, he was put up, brother. He in the mansion, in the state. He did what he was supposed to do. Yeah, okay. Damn, mm-hmm. that's fucked up. Well, the thing is, 25 million. When we doing for, detail about that? No, I was like, no, no, no shit. About that. 26 million over? For, for 26 it. years. And it was 50 years ago. That happened 50 years ago, boy. And they served for 20 and 22 years, just now got that money for 26 million. What's your take? My take is uh, that it's fucked up, bro. Right. Especially be known as the killer of my, even though they didn't like him. Even them guys said we didn't like the nigga because what he did to our, our culture, but they didn't kill him. So you went to jail and was known for killing Malcolm X. That's crazy. So that's on top of saving, serving 20 some years in prison. And all I get is 26 million. I need 26 billion, bitch. Fuck is wrong with y'all, man? 26 million. How you set me up for killing one of the most legendary niggas in the world? God damn. They give me 25 minutes and go and get the fuck on. Go and get that. Shit, 25 million good to an old black nigga like that. That nigga have a good time. All the bean pies on him. Man. Nigga might be out of there 12 months later, boy. The other nigga died, though. The other nigga that went to jail, he died. They gave it to his two family, of them though. died. Yeah, two of them that gave to his family, like 10 million mm-hmm. and 22 million to the family. But he the only one alive. He could enjoy his little millions. How of old years. is he? Shit, he motherfucker old, nigga. He gotta be 70. At so, least, huh? 50 years ago, he had to be 20 something. Then what happened? I don't know. That brother, I don't know. You wanna look good? If he ain't, <laughs> he finna be married now. To all the pussy in the world. He finna fuck all the good pussy, get on what? a good coat. He gonna get on my hair. His last little few years of his life, he about to go dumb. As he should. Yeah. He should he, die with zero dollars. But he, he probably Muslim, though. He Muslim. Oh, he probably be all right. He, what that mean? Son, get him a good couple wives. They go, oh, yeah, he get wives up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He go to goddamn Mecca and go feast. No disrespect, people. Yeah, none. I didn't, never, I didn't know for sure. Yeah, I didn't know. I thought you know, he was a regular like, civilian. Mashallah. But yeah, he is a regular civilian. But that nigga, yeah, he got twenty six million. Well deserved, man. Um, you know, people get falsely Better accused. Than nothing. Yeah, when people get falsely accused of stuff, man, that shit is weak as hell. I think another dude just got uh, yeah, there's another guy speaking of that, a California man in prison for thirty eight years, freed after DNA evidence points to another man. Give him a hundred million, man. Thirty eight years. That's insane. Thirty eight years, and I didn't do it. So there's innocent people in prison. Thirty eight. It shows you time and time again I of all these different examples. I didn't do nothing. Why am I here? So imagine how he felt that whole time. Sir, I'm, I didn't do nothing. Why am I here? So this must have been... Big life, man. So was it? Was he in there for murder? Two murder. Two murders. No. He didn't do it. They point to a whole other nigga, man. That's some bullshit. Damn. That was life. That was the movie Life. 38 years, bro. 38? Yeah, it was in there like 60-something. Though. So that nigga, yeah. That nigga had... They had to give him life. He did 38, huh? For sure. He wasn't he, getting out. No, he, he wasn't getting 25 out. to life. Damn, that's crazy. And he was fighting every step of that way, man. And he got free. Shout out to him, man. Is he free now, though? 
Hold his own, man. Yeah, I hope he have a good, long, prosperous life, and I hope he get a hundred million from the motherfucker. Damn man. right, minimum. That's some bullshit. Why y'all do that, man, like that? Yeah, that's crazy, man. Speaking of nigga that, that, that motherfucking goddamn in prison in his own brain, this nigga Ben Simmons. Look at this goddamn clip. Durant, Durant. giving goals. Oh, oh nigga, here about a finger roll. There's nothing worse. Let me show you. I see you do that once before. Let me show you, brother. I ain't in the NBA with hundred million. <laughs> I supposed to though, <laughs> but you is. Damn. I supposed to have hundred million for Come the Come on, man, you gargoyle. I'm definitely one of the ones. There you go. Come on, man. I've done it, but not. I ain't gonna do it. The, not shot on the wrong basketball goal before. That was one of the most okay. embarrassing moments of my goddamn life. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. You wanna hear that story? It's that some shit funny was shit. Dev- All we need to do is just hear that. That, that was, shit was dead. Ain't even gotta be no story. Damn. We. Are, I'm gonna tell y'all one of my most embarrassing moments ever. <laughs> was it the All Star choice? I'm going to talk about it, God damn it. This What's shit. up, Slim? Yeah, let's drop another and one. And then I go to my body. And then we can get back to Ben Simmons. I'm gonna Tight week. I'm going to keep real short and sweet. It was definitely... Tight week. But everybody... Relax. But the... The yeah, jig is a hype. One million percent. I went up to dunk. I don't know. I had a brain fart moment. Yeah, and I don't know why I went up so, so light with it, though. I thought it was about to be so easy. Yep. So... I went in, had the ball. I'm like, I'm just going to pop it, just dunk it in. Just be calm. Right. Be safe. Don't try to act dumb. Throw it on the backboard. Don't do, Don't do, do that. damn shit. Yeah. But if I did that, I'd have, I'd have flushed it. Damn. But I try to be calm. That's why you never play it safe. Always go crazy. Always go crazy. Because then you're ready to turn up. You, you know you got to go to the max to do it. Uh-huh. I went up. I'm just under the basket. I'm like, I'm just going to jump up and just do this. Boom. Just dunk it in. I went up, that motherfucking ball flew up my head. The bitch flew over the rim. It flew over the rim. It saved face a little bit because it kind of flew over the rim, but it so, kind of nicked so it like and it, it kind of bounced yeah. back around. Yeah. And I was able to get the rebound and throw it, it in the, and get the bucket. You, and you threw it like this way. Like the rim was on this side. You ran and caught it. And the jig is threw up. it backwards and that bitch went in. I'm like, how the fuck you do that? I made sure. was so crazy <laughs> that you made that shit. I'm like, nigga, how the fuck did you make that shit? Because it slipped out your hand. Oh, and you ran the other side, caught it. I made it. sure I was getting that bucket and putting it in. Because I couldn't just do that. It is just turnover. It was type fast break too, wasn't it? It was the most embarrassing shit ever in history that I've ever done in basketball. For sure. And then the fact that this ain't no collegiate, this is just an all-star understanding. All-star game. Big uh, Odell Beckham right Odell there. Odell Beckham all the we playing in this shit. And then I just did that. Yeah. I was trying to redeem myself through when passing the ball so I could just go. I wanted to just go in through the lane and just so that's, boom. So that's where you go back to the last episode. He kept saying, man, why you throw me? Throw the ball. Throw the ball. Because he lost that ball. I wanted the redemption. Try to redeem his shit. But me, I was the MVP of the game, by the way. So I I was killing so I, I would have been if I'd have made that motherfucker. So I was in my g- <laughs> <laughs> big white man mode. <laughs> so he was on a redemption song, and I knew it too. But I was so focused on just playing. He was not letting me get my redemption, man. He couldn't get it. You got it though. I gave it to you a couple times at the end. No, you didn't. Stop I lying. Didn't. No, you gave it to fucking the nigga, the other nigga on the team. You don't even know this who, nigga. Who's that? I, I forget, forget who the fuck nigga was. I gave him alley oop, didn't I? Yeah. Who was his name? And I was right there with you. It was all three of us. I said, this motherfucker, man. Oh, yeah, I do that. I do it that way. Nigga, I throw me this bitch. I, I want. I'm peeing. I, I was, was going to grab that bitch and scratch my motherfucking back with that bitch. Because, yeah, that what it was. It was more cool if I went in and out and faked this way and threw it over the shoulder. So it was more of a player move. It was some move. bullshit. But I should have just threw it, it to you. It was some bullshit. That's what it was. God man. damn it. My bad, bro. <laughs> My bad. I wanted, to, I wanted to go in and out faking and boom. I should have just That in was and out. my embarrassing moment. You should, no, you just pass it. Nigga, I'll do the rest. You just pass it, <laughs> motherfucker. I got this. Shit, shit come on, man. Come Let me on, get it early and put the extra move Jack, on come it. on, man. I want to put some stay. Ah, ah, ah. Boom. I want to do some shit. God damn, I needed to do it after that. Hey, you got another nigga was chasing me. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, throw it to me. Throw it back. Ball, ball. They got ball. Ball. You should have seen him. He was on me. Close. Like, on me. Hey, give me the ball. Hey, I got you, brother. Psych. Ugh. Oh, it was crazy. That was a fun game. Yeah, bro. but I went up there. That bitch just fucking yeah, flew, flew on my out head. Your head, man. Yeah, that was, man, fuck it. It's over. The, hey, man, listen, man. The jig is up. Yeah, yeah. But don't ever. Don't get it fucked up. Still finished out strong. Screwed. Come and on. And we man. won. And we won. And won. We beat them niggas. You know what I'm saying? But that was funny. But yeah, for my story, I think I was a sophomore in, in, in um, high school. Yep. And I always, always was already in turmoil with the school. They never want to play me and shit. All the time. Got me sitting on the bench and shit like I'm regular shit. So I'm already mad the whole time, sitting yep. there mad as fuck. Then finally, coach put me in like the last five minutes, and I get in the game, so I'm hot. And this is the first players I get in. I swear to God, I'm sitting there, think I'm better than everybody. They put me in. I'm like, nigga, it's home. So they put me in. It's an out of bounds play. So me, halfway paying attention, halfway not okay. the whole game because I'm not Three playing. Up. So yeah, so you you know to get out, 
It's the energy ain't right. Yeah, so I'm already, yeah, always off, but I'm ready to play, but it's like, nigga, I want to pay attention to what's going on, so this is what happened. It's an out-of-bounds play. So we, I remember the out-of-bounds play from practice. You do the out-of-bounds play, it's called forward, boom. You set two down, two down screens, and then you roll to the basket, get the ball, and then you shoot whoever get the right. ball because you're right there. You set the screen and roll to get bounce pass, boom. Yeah. So I was ready for that. They're like yeah. four. I'm like, ooh, I'm going to get me to this point, nigga. I'm going to score right away. That's what I'm thinking. I'm hype. So I'm up at the top on the, um, at the wings. Uh, and um, we go down screen for the other guys, down screen, boom. We roll to the middle, boom. And I'm right in front of the guy. So he do a bounce pass to me, bounce pass to me, boom. I get that motherfucker. And I go right up strong. Arr! I jumped up. Arr! And I shot it, boom. And I missed. And it come down to me. Boom. And I hit me. I'm like, fuck. So everybody laughing. Like, I'm like, damn, I'm embarrassed. And I missed the layup. And I'm like, damn. And I turn my shoulder. Everybody's running the other way. <laughs> so I'm like, what the fuck they doing? Nigga, it's the wrong basket. Leaving you wide open, huh? It's the wrong yeah, basket. Got- <laughs> My dumb ass. So I thought they was laughing because I missed the damn layup. That's yeah. what I'm roasting about. Like, goddamn, I missed the layup. Yeah. I got the rebound. Like, where everybody at? Everybody uh, running away, looking at me like, what you doing? I'm like, uh, we down here with it. You stupid black bitch. That's why you don't play. <laughs> I fucking shot on the wrong basket and I missed the layup. Double fucking the <laughs> God damn. Sure. That's why your black ass don't play. Yeah, yeah. Not only you ain't paying attention, and you missed the layup, you yeah. broke black, stupid, <laughs> sorry, motherfucker. Man, I was so salty, bro. I was like, uh, uh, it's up. Why did you just dunk it? You 4-3 of them. I was sophomore. I wasn't dunk. I didn't dunk oh, to my dunk senior year. Yeah, okay. I didn't dunk. No, my junior year. In the game, too. My first ever dunk was in the game. I mean, you got three of them in the blood. You probably yeah. could have did it then. If you probably could have. I was so motherfucking hyped. Yeah. I ripped the nigga half court at the like half court. You know, the time run out. Ripped yeah. the nigga half time. Ripped the nigga half court, half time. Three, two, woo, woo. boom. I'm like, oh shit. Look My first that. dunk. Nigga, I do I'm that? A, nigga, oh, was going slobbing the shit like a wild goddamn okay. banshee. But yeah, bro. Kamala Dragon type. Big time. Nigga with a diet. He got some of that on him. But yeah, <laughs> bro. Um, nigga missed it on the wrong basket. I thought. They was laughing at me because I missed the layup, not knowing it was the wrong fucking basket. So That's fucking it's hilarious. It's actually double embarrassing, but it ain't because you should have missed it, but you did because it's a layup. But so which on. one's worse? Fuck. Everybody drops the comments. Which one's worse? Was it my story or your story? I think it's mine because I'm I think really in high too. school. But I was about to slap the shit out of somebody, too. Another celebrity motherfucker. Y'all know this motherfucker. I was about to slap the dog shit out of him, too. He tried to right. sub me after that. I pulled a three of him. I ain't going to lie to you. He did. Three of them. I did. Oh, yeah. He, he tried did. to come sub me. Because it's right after that. Boy, I slapped the fucking the- shit out you, boy. And hey, listen, and I ain't like how he did it. So it's not the fact that he tried to sub me that like What's made up, me Slim? get mad. No, yeah, we gonna talk about this one. I should say his motherfucking name. Nah, don't do that. Type want to? Nah, don't do that, bro. Yeah, I don't like this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's from Minnesota, nigga, might know you, man. Come on, uh, everybody, relax, man. This motherfucking voodoo. But yeah, that was funny. That's hey, funny. listen, but listen, let me tell you something. I ever see you, boy, you play it. Hey, he didn't know no better, right? Yeah, man. Really and I said it then, too. I said, hey, I'm about to slap the shit out you, yeah, boy. Yeah, he said it to him on the court. On the court, I said mm-hmm. it to him. What the fuck you talking about? Everybody relax, man. You yeah, stay type getting me mad just thinking about the shit yeah, again. every time. Don't get it hey, fucked up <laughs> or misconstrued. Yeah, God, my boy tried to sell me. So here's the thing. I don't know how, I don't know. It was type disrespectful. I feel like, I, hey, man, you was it. What? Yeah, and like, then yeah, I'm, I'm looking for, I'm searching for my redemption too, so I'm type defensive. Yeah. Right? So I'm looking for my redemption. Yeah, because you couldn't get out yet. It ain't time. No, it ain't time. Because I need to get this real quick and oh. then I'll go sit down. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. I'll sit down after I get this. All reconnaissance though. And then you got to think my nigga ain't passing me the ball. Keep breaking that up, baby. Right? And then I'm type defensive. I ain't got my redemption. This nigga come in type straight for me. It probably wasn't even that disrespectful when I think about it. And it probably wasn't just because of that. It's just like, let me come in for you. But I it? felt like it was because I just did the, the most embarrassing was, shit. It was everything that was going on. It was heightened. I said, man, I ain't going to get somewhere now. Go yeah. on, nigga. Go on, get. And he was you mad know? at me for doing that to him. He do it to somebody else. See yeah, what I'm saying? See, <laughs> yo, as they rubbed up on the nigga. The, the golden rule, man. But I ain't going to lie to you. I was ready to that whole yeah, bitch up. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. And then uh, something happened. He said something to me. I said, "Hey, my nigga." I had to talk to you. Hey, nah, I'm somebody too, champ. I slapped the shit out you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Relax. Yeah, you did say something. Hey, yeah, Slim. Hey, yo. there, yeah. Hey, now, did I start explaining? Myself? No, I'm three other motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, it's all yeah, good. Boy. Come on, get back in. We gonna get it. So wrong with me, man. And I still ain't. See, that's why I just say I give good energy, love, and and just good energy 24 seven. Cause I don't want no motherfuckers. Cause here go. Yep. So, but yeah, I'm like, don't worry about it, nigga. I got you. We gonna get your ball. We gonna get you. We gonna continue to play, man. Got in the game. We got back to the game. I don't game. like that motherfucker to this day. We got back in the game. I still ain't get a nigga the ball. God damn it. Damn, <laughs> you did neither. I didn't. <laughs> oh fuck. He did neither. I ain't gonna lie to you. He did. One time God. I did though. Ball, he was ball. I got it at the end though. At the wing, no, right? you didn't. Remember at the end, no, I threw it. No, you didn't. Stop. You making this shit up in your head. No, am you I? didn't. Yes. So I never gave it back to you. No. 
God damn. That one fucking time. Damn, brother. The jig Cause is I'd have dunked the fuck out of that bitch. You was running that lane too, ain't gonna lie. Like a, like a gazelle. <laughs> nigga, I was out of there. Nigga, it was leopard type. Nigga, I, was, I went up. What? Yeah, yeah, I was trying. It's like, no, it's like well, yeah, that's exactly what he did. He ain't playing <laughs> shit. He, that's what he did. Because he know you was running so good, like they would have came to you, so I had to throw him off. You yeah, I'm saying? talking about. I was looking for redemption so much. I'm sitting screens. I was that goddamn. Nigga. I was trying to do anything. To goddamn, you got to get them rebounds, nigga. That's how I was getting on my buckets. I was snatching them boards. Nigga. I, I did get up. the rebound. I gave it to you, nigga. You're supposed to give it back. I so, nigga, grab the rebound. Uh, throw it. D Wade, LeBron, nigga, like we did in Venice Beach. We, we got better. But I learned the after. That take time. Yeah, that's why I went so crazy at Venice, nigga. I had to snap. Yeah, we went crazy. See, we evolved. I was but I wanted, the ball. I wanted that di- on that stage. Yeah, that was a good stage. So I got it. Uh, throw it three. Hey, ah, come down the left lane. Three yeah, in the right. He did, he come did. on, champ. But I'm talking offensive rebounds. Nigga, threw it to a whole nother nigga. Offensive I said, rebounds, though. You weren't getting no offensive. What? Yes, that was, was defensive rebounds. No, I got an offensive because that's how I was getting buckets, too. And then I was. That's what I'm like, talking about to give me the ball, though. No, I got both. It was defensive. Yeah, you weren't getting right? offensive rebound and throwing oh. it to me out. You was no, no, defensive. defensive and then I was yeah. throwing to you. But we running together, though. For sure, yeah. We ran the lane. It's bullshit. Yeah, it's true. bullshit. It's true. He opened but old I'm running. I'm you just reopening going. old wounds, Because I'm just going going through the shit and I just see the nigga that way. You know what I'm saying? So, nah, nigga, I'm saying three. I heard hey. you. I heard you, but I had to go with the most open nigga. I was I'm the most bad, open. <laughs> He was supposed to skip the other open nigga to get to your nigga. They was on you, bro. They knew you was good. <laughs> she ain't opening up old wounds, They were double teaming you. They were double teaming you, bro. They were double teaming you. I shouldn't have been mad. The nigga, I should have been mad at your motherfucking ass. That's all right, brother. We, we brothers. Can't be mad yeah. at your brother. Yeah, that's true. They so was I, double, I took it out on him, though. They was double teaming you, though, bro. They knew you was good, bro. So, so. here's the question. So, do I dislike that moment in history, or is it I dislike that nigga? It's the moment. It, it was, was the a, moment. It was the huh? cultivation of the moment. Because he, he probably, because when I think back, he wasn't that. He wasn't no disrespectful. It's just, just at the me. moment. Yeah, yeah, your shit was so heightened yeah. that it didn't matter. That's what it was. That's what it was. That's okay. what I'm saying. When you want, you in the moment, bro. Nigga, lie but do anything. Yeah. Don't see nothing. I done slap niggas in games, my own teammates. Yeah, that's so, true. You, in crowds, nigga, like motherfucking around our testing them type. Go in the crowd, yeah. hit the nigga, nigga, in front of everybody. So it's like when you in that yeah. moment, nigga, you don't know, nigga, you kill something. You know what it was. The nigga type tried to walk away from him uh, talking to his ass. Right. I After said, hey, you man, I'll slap the shit out you, boy. Yeah, I That's what it was. I to him, like, no, I ain't coming out by yeah, you. Yeah, like, yeah. He, was just, oh, this nigga. he probably walked away because he probably like, well, that's nigga, bullshit. Nigga, you know how that felt, nigga? Yeah, yeah that's true. Know. That's true. So he had to just walk away. That's true. But walk- I, want, I want him to hear me out, type. Speaking of walk away, LeBron. <laughs> let me tell you something, LeBron. I got something for you. It's called this. The jig is Come up. Come on, man. LeBron. The jig is up. Hey, LeBron. Type week. This nigga missing. Talking about missing. Look at that. This is LeBron James. Now let's check this out. Play it again. I seen this, but I just want to. Let's see it again on the big screen. It look better on the big screen. You look like Farid out here. Look, look, look. Pass to him. Watch this, though. What he doing? Act like he hurt. Nigga, you ain't hurt. He did act like it was a free always do that. He always act like he hurt. LeBron, don't you ever. Hey, boy, look, look, look. 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 Look, why you hold your finger? Why you, you do the lip with it? You uh, missed the layup. Why you hold the finger like that has something to do with it? He probably had a brain fart move. Look, 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 look. You thought he was farther back. <laughs> Nigga laughed at him right yeah. there. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that roast? Was Anthony Davis roasting him? Why Anthony Davis roast? Watch Anthony Davis. <laughs> look, 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 right here tonight. Look, look. Ah! Laughed at him. <laughs> that made it worse. That's why you had to grab the hand. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, shit, help me. You gotta look for, uh, for support from your friend. Hey, you all right, man? Uh. You all right, man? The figure? Yeah, right, nigga. <laughs> oh, shit. Shout out to Brian, man. <laughs> okay, basketball. That ain't, he ain't declining, though. He's still going up. All right, let's go, man. Trick or treat, man, right? You can pick it up. Right. Oh, my so, God. Shout not, out to this my, one. not this one. Shout out to my young nigga, man. He wanted to be Michael Jordan. That for, was some, uh, so ignorant My shit. nigga wanted to be Michael Jordan for, for Halloween. Oh, the nigga put the whole goddamn Hershey Kiss bar on his head. Yeah, he did. That is the Hershey Kiss. They got the ball. The guy ain't moving that bitch with the Jordan shirt. <laughs> Who mama and dad is this motherfucker kid? I want to smack the fuck out y'all, man. Yeah, that was out of pocket. That nigga got to be an orphan. What about them kids that was in fucking Walmart or some shit? Oh, that's in Utah, the Mormon. Utah. Crew. Yeah, racist. All them need they motherfucking ass. We can beat. find them. You know, my brother and them live out there. Oh, yeah. That's I can fact. find them niggas easy. They said one, this is only 1% in Utah is black? Oh, for sure. Fuck. Big Mormon yeah. movie. And they were like, yeah, we, hey, we, who you gonna tell? They don't wanna tell you. Hey, we stuck. dropped out of high school. Yes, yeah, so who cares? Yeah, you act like you fucking ignorant bitch. Somebody should have came there with a fucking hatchet and hit him right in the back of the fucking head. And he be wondering, Man, people crazy. That's man. crazy with the full black oil skin too, like dude. With the with the prison outfit on, like Who black no nigga black man. niggas only go to prison tight. Who this little nigga, man? Let me send this for read, man. Maybe we should send it for read. I'll be forgetting. Shout out to little nigga, man. 
You seen the other ones are free too before? Nah, nah, let me get the jig up type. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like that's some ignorant shit though. You know what I mean? Like Nah, he tripping. Dude got man, that was crazy. Do you got the one with the other people? Oh, I, I can find it though. Yeah, there's some crazy shit. I yeah. said y'all gotta see this, man. Yeah, they acting like they they uh, inmates and they got nigger nigger juice all over them. Yeah, god damn, man. I don't know uh-huh. if you, you added to the book. Sure. <laughs> oh, no. Damn. They got the nigga ooze on them. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. But it is crazy, man. Motherfuckers violating, man. Hold on, man. We handling business in here, man. This is the top of the movie enterprises. The state of the movie enterprises. Ah, shit. <laughs> what other ones we talking about so far? Uh, all of them? Uh, let's get them all. Shit. The handle business. Handle business. Oh, you got another dude right there. Yeah. DNA. Yeah. Uh, who this nigga? Like he did it. That's why they arrested that nigga. Like, hey, I don't know. Is Damn, show? three of them. That DNA, who DNA he, he stole and put in there? <laughs> I, think, I think he did it. That was right. crazy. Jig is up. Uh, the Twitter, Twitter move. Oh, yeah. yeah, the Twitter move. Come on, Elon. Let me shit, check. Hold on, let me check my crypto right now. Hopefully, man, we got to do this. It's a oh, Top Book Enterprises, brother. Oh, damn it. It's up. It's top up. Top Book Enterprises. Ah, yeah. It's down. <laughs> <laughs> Elon must make a tweet, brother. I need him on the tweet. That's man. all we need, man. So I need that nigga make them tweets. Look at them. There nigga you make that go. tweet is up. Why you always throwing the same ass cheeks on the day? I like them asses. White ass. <laughs> a thick white ass. A white ass. <laughs> you funny as hell. Where that motherfucker go? Where the Twitter yeah. motherfucker at, man? Joint. Yeah, did you show it? God damn it. What was that at? That probably was on another thing. They probably want to save. I find it. Yeah, it's all right. But also, okay, did we talk about this? The King Von Mook and, and, and the little Dirk? No, we didn't. So uh, a little dirt got all, all charges dropped. Man, yeah, that's big shout point. out to him. Yeah, he thought it was jig was up, but because it the, did look crazy at first. It did look crazy. He said they seen him hanging yeah. out the window shooting. But what was said was if King Von wasn't dead, the DA was definitely going to charge him with the shootings and attempted murder because he did shoot the shit out there. Not just in Atlanta, said. but also with Ki in Chicago. They yeah. said he was. Yep, he yeah. said two other murders yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. So it was like three different separate murders and this shooting that they uh, said that he did. And he was uh, he beat three murders too. He beat two. I thought it was three. Oh, it was a murder and attempted yeah, murder. Yeah, yeah, a murder. And t- two, two murders and t- one attempted or something. Yeah. Two or three or something. It was two murders. One, one murder, the, the a witness he didn't get killed. You okay. know what I'm saying? So that was dropped. And then it was a, a murder and attempted Coincidental. murder. Coincidental. That was a coincidence. It was a murder and attempted murder that right. he, he was waiting on trial for. Okay. That he ended up beating because a guy, you know, didn't testify. Yeah. I wonder why. Yeah. But, yeah, um, yeah, then he had this after that, so. Yeah, man. But you know when you die, though, they kind of be trying to throw shit on you to cover, get them cases cleared out. Right, type. right, yeah. Why yep. didn't do that shit when he was here? Like, yep. he been. But I don't know, man. I repeat to that man, you know what I mean? Um, he was known for doing what he did, and he died the way he lived, you know what I'm saying? So, and, and that's the life he chose. And But at least he came out and did yeah. some influence. I mean, people often music. say it, though. Live by the gun, die by the gun. And also, okay. like, to keep it real, in these situations, we got to look at it for what it is. It's not like he's out here serial killing, killing random people. It's a problem against niggas who killed my friends and we kill y'all. It's kind of like war, actually. You know what I'm saying? It's fucked up, mm. but it's war. Like, nigga, war. We signed up for this. Yeah, you kill some of my homies. I'm a killer on my side. We coming to kill some of y'all. We all in this shit together. It ain't like random little niggas is getting killed. Sometimes it happens on accident, but I'm talking about in these situations, this is a war going on. Yeah. So it's kind of like kind of different. Don't you think I'm on I'm tripping? I think it's a little bit different. It is, though, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. because yeah, it's not just random, like, nigga, man, watch out for nigga, just hurt random people. No, like, these niggas killed my best friend. I'm going to kill one of them niggas. This nigga killed my homie. I'm going to kill one of them niggas. Like, that's it's some toxic ass shit. It's fucked up, but that's the me. But I'd rather not have no street war. For I'd sure. rather just leave it to the governments, brother. So, instead of a nigga killing your homeboy, you go kill them, you just yeah, leave it to the government. Just leave it to the governments, man. Me too. Yeah, I'm severe, man. I like the- Straight up, shit, me, shit, me. Me too. Hey, me too. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> what else you got on there, brother? You got to do both. You tell that kid, Apple. No, oh, Damn. shit. That's how you do it. But uh, that's a secret. No, that's uh, the secret. That's yeah. the secret sauce. Ain't no rules. That's the Space Jam motherfucking juice All in the book. Use every attribute you got. Tell, yeah. kill, whatever. That's Speaking how you Speaking really of do that, it. we was talking about Ben Simmons. That's how we got uh, to the side because we was talking about the Space Jam juice. He ran out of the Bugs Bunny juice. Oh, when he lost that layup. Yeah, huh? Daffy Duck. Remember Daffy Duck wanted that extra sauce, the, the, the juice in the mook? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Ben Simmons, man. But you know what, man? I feel bad for Ben Simmons, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. But this will let you know. My bad on the, Why the sound keep playing? No, it's bad. all good. Let me turn the sound off, but go ahead. This will let you know just how some nobody ass, nothing ass niggas well, 
can affect somebody that really got some shit going on in life. That's a fact. Bunch of fucking nobody talking about shit about this nigga. He was a billionaire nigga. Like, the potential was making like $200 million max contract coming. Nigga sat out a whole year, probably lost about $20 million. Yeah. Just sitting out that whole year just to get but his mind I, right. I think they're in court fighting for that, though. Yeah, they fighting yeah, for yeah. it. Most likely he going to win or yeah, a percentage of it. Sure. You know what I'm saying? He probably is smart, though. He got Rich Paul and them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they probably get him right. But that's crazy how that works. Some of them contracts, like uh, Chris Bosch ain't played in like five years. Yeah. He be getting paid every month for the last five years without Chris playing. Chris alone. Yeah, he just finished it. His last, it was 120 payments of a half a million dollars every month mm -hmm. for the last the 120. Shout out to Chris Bosch. God damn. Yep, for sure. 120 months. Yep. That's big. 520, like 500,000 a month. Major. Sitting on the nigga. Ooh. Major. Them bags be different, bro. So yeah, it's just guaranteed money. So it don't matter if he had the the the, the, the blood clot problem or anything like that. You got to keep paying. Got to keep paying. I mean, and man. he really wanted to play for it, too, and they just wouldn't let him play, though. Yeah, that like that happened like I think that was uh, Curry. He didn't opt to take that little money. He kept playing uh, Eddie yeah. Curry, and he got his money, but he had like a blood clot, too, or something. Yeah. But uh, also another legendary guy. He just did an interview with Vlad TV. Yep. He got a crazy story. Yeah, well, I was um, watching it. Swiss Beats. Made history as the first ever African American to own a camel racing team based in the Middle East. My nigga Swiss Beats don't be playing, huh? Swiss Beats that nigga. That he is. He, he always has been though. He definitely. Yeah. One of yeah. the ones. Yeah. Yep. And he got the he got the type of shit I like, motherfucker. Alicia Keys, Swiss Beats type relationship. I don't want no goddamn bitch mooching on me. <laughs> we gotta eat together. Fuck is you talking about, bitch? Right. Ain't no mooching. Right. Ain't you no mooching. You forgot to mention. Love it, Slim. Go subscribe. Oh, you got to. Top level understanding. 100%. Big, big, you know what I'm saying? Equally yoked as my, For my sure. guy. For sure. Slim said, I don't want no moochery over here. No. New, word, new word alert. Yeah, you know yeah. No moochery. <laughs> That's a fact. That's Ain't a fact. no big moochery over here, man. Yeah. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to mooch off you. Because it's tight parasitic when motherfuckers doing shit like that. Because you're going to be like, because once it starts. Because you're drinking and I ain't getting, you ain't putting nothing back in the pot. you're going to just look at a motherfucker like, what you, what you can break it over here, motherfucker? Yeah, you just suck a nigga dry. I'm just that nigga to get sucked dry? Yeah. Nah, bitch. Yeah. Jig is up. You know what I'm saying? So the mookery get goddamn. Ain't no, ain't no mookery, man. The jig is up. That's the super fat, man. So yeah. shout out to my dog. Yeah, Swiss shout out to Swiss Beast, man. He always, he always wants some legendary shit. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Yeah. Well, my nigga Kanye on, he up here, he, he losing everything, man. Man, what's happening with so him? So like, now the Kanye... Um, Send that to Bree, brother. Oh, yeah. yeah he, Goodwill's yeah. no longer accepting Yeezy products. Bitch, nobody give a fuck with Goodyear. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like y'all doing, doing somebody a favor. Goodyear, Goodwill talking about we ain't taking your Yeezys. Nigga, fuck Goodwill, you bum. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Out. But they say he, what happened was the main thing of that whole thing is that he's dropped from now his billionaire status. Right, right. First, he was like to one billion, now he's down to 400 million. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. they just dropped the new Forbes list of the richest hip hop influencers or whatever. And then that's what I wanted to get to. Let me get that to Fareed. Is, um, who do you think the top five is of getting that money? Uh, the cult, from the culture? Yeah. Oh, look at the board, man. You're you know, trying I'm trying to, to sneak. I'm trying to sneak look. I'm trying to look, man. There's someone. Jay Z. Jay -Z. It's right there, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> give me five. Give me five. You can, you can see almost. You can see two or three of them already. Okay. Jay Z, Dr. Dre. Yep. Kanye. Yep. Uh. Hmm. We just talked Jay about him. Swiss? Nah, I will. He oh, should be, but not yet. No, yeah. Jay Z, Dr. Dre, uh, Ye. Uh, shit. Who was it? LeBron. You got LeBron. No, hip hop, hip hop. Oh, hip hop, hop. Okay. Uh, hip hop, hip hop. Damn, who's other doing hip hop? We just talked about a nigga acting fool dumb. Come on, bro. It's just the beginning of time. That's an easy one. Say the niggas you said again and who's not in that realm that you're not saying. I don't know. Just tell me. You just said it. Jay Z, Dr. Dre. Who else God, been around that long? Jay Z. Longer than them niggas type, really. Fuck, I don't know. Dr. Dre. Who he had beef with, nigga, back in the day? Who Dr. Dre had beef with? Yeah, Dev Row. Uh, uh, oh, Tupac. No, after. But he ain't on that motherfucker. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? I was that one like this. Nigga, take Diddy, nigga. Oh, Diddy, fuck God shit. damn. I'm having a brain fart, brother. No, that's a motherfucking shit. That's a, that that's a good, brain that's, you shit in that's the That's a runny shit, too. That's a diarrhea that was, brain. That was a runny one. Yeah, that that ain't no, there ain't no brain fart. I said, God damn, Tupac ain't on that motherfucker. Yeah, go get some Pet the Bismarck. Oh, pour it on shit, your damn yeah, head. I got to, bro. Pour it in your ear. Some good fiber, huh? Oh, shit. Why you set me up like that? Shit, I, I, was, I kept saying just I say know, the shit. I knew how far it was going. I had to keep going. Do I had to go like to the Just threw me all the way to the box. That was hilarious. Dude, crushed my I skull. Lie, that, was that, was that was a good one. You got me good. Shit. He said, Dr. Dre. He said, we had beef with you. Who the beef with Dr. Dre had beef with you? He had beef with Diddy. He didn't have beef with Diddy? 
Who? Dre. The bro? G- g- guilty by affiliation, but he ain't had no direct correlation with the beefery. 100% did. No! What did he say about Diddy? Nigga, Dr. Dre, he was there to produce the Of course he shit. produced it, but he went like blanking with company. Tupac. Tupac was blanking. Ah. It was. Ah. All right, bro. I'm going to say face where I can say face now. That's the, I'm standing on it now. Yeah, That's he, it now. Go and get but, now. But I give you the part that he never was verbal. You know what I'm saying? He but wasn't. Yeah, brother. Death Row was, too. Death Row was his company. I ain't really tap. I'm yeah, trying to did, save you, you, brother. Did, you want to keep going? You tapped out, but it's all right. Next okay. time, okay. brother. So and also the the, the the new one to the shit. The new one that's uh, cold is my nigga Burner. Is that the new dude that is going selling all the arenas, going crazy? Is that the dip? No, <laughs> that's bad, buddy. See how I'm fucking. Yeah, I know. That's all right. As you got me on too, brother. Yeah, See? that's all right. <laughs> He definitely hip hop. He kissing, smooching niggas up there. But oh, for real? You been that type of thing? Oh yeah. Oh mm-hmm. shit. I just try to be getting money. That's what they say. A whole lot of money. Okay. I think his tour did like 130 well, million. Yeah. Shout out to him though. Fuck they that. That nigga in that bizzle. Fuck he that. Do, you do that for the man. He, he can do what the fuck he uh, want to do. Yeah, Not okay, the three well, he, of them. Okay. I thought yeah. you said. Okay. But he I, can't. I go on like tour support. with him. Shit, I'll be out there and host that motherfucker. Hey, bring out bad money. Shit. Look, look at him kiss, look at him kiss the all the dancers. I won't give a goddamn what he do. He can fuck. Y'all wanna see him fucking the back up to the back. Oh well, shit. Like, got nothing to do with me. Damn. But I will hey shit. So I, I this is gonna sound hella embarrassing. It's okay. Who's Burner? So Burner is the he's a rapper, but he's well known for cookies, his weed brand. Oh uh, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Yep, he owns, they invited me up to their store. I remember you told me that. Oh uh, yeah, that's crazy. So he owns cookies, also has the I had no line. idea what cookies was before that day. Oh yeah, you like Remember because I was like, damn, what is this weed? Yes, it is. Yeah, it was, yeah. The biggest in the game. So uh yeah, he owns that like I think he sold some of his, you know, you gotta get that initial boost now. But yeah. he owned like majority percentage of I think like twenty something percent left he owned the rest of it to a bigger company, but that's his shit. And then, but he, he's gonna be a billionaire off that shit. And the cookies is the biggest weed dispensary brand. Also their clothing line is crazy and he does so much shit. He got so many strands. He said he got like hundred years after he dead, he got strands he already got scheduled to release. That's Damn. how much that's how much he into the shit. Like no joke. So he keep been drug them type. He wasn't before that. Yeah. He had oh. to, yeah, before he got into it, he had the up north motherfucker with the forest type. Oh, shit. That's what that's... he was known for. Then he transitioned to the real dispensary. No, nah, he sacked. Oh, beyond. He said four and ten million? Come on, man. Damn. And he owned cookies, nigga. I wonder that's how like, that feel. And that's unlimited buffet bag, too. Yes, it is. Because you got to know, like, this shit is still new to open up dispensaries and shit. It ain't even still all the way around the whole country, nigga. So they're going to do nothing. They're going to be like Budweiser soon. How they got Yee back at 500 million, though? What they happened? cut his whole motherfucking shit back. He was just the, the richest of all time of the black yep, American all, history type. Up six billion. Of the culture. And Diddy first time being a billionaire. He never was a billionaire before. That's crazy. So Diddy first time entering the billion. That's why he's like a dumb and street joker. Ah, yeah, they got a dumb. They got a billionaire for real, for real now. So break it down for the people how they could just take ye from six billion to ye. to yeah. You put the y e. That's yay. Yay. Ye. Yay. <laughs> Shit. Jeez, Kanye. Huh? Kanye. What's Shit. up, Slim? <laughs> Fuck ever you want to change his name. Hey, God bless you, Damn. Kanye. Yeah, I was one, but out of respect, I'm trying to save his name because I know he wouldn't want to be called Kanye. <laughs> so I'm trying. He's changing it officially. To yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to be respectful. And say that, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is his name. That nigga crazy. Though. He changed shit officially. Wow, courthouse. Yeah. Wild. Nigga, that's my name. Nigga, don't call yeah, me Ocho yeah. Cinco type. Went crazy. Yeah, yeah, yep. up. I'm yeah, straight. Yeah, yeah. Ain't no other name. Yay. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Ye, yeah. not yay. Ye, yay. Ye to the yay. Yay to the ye. <laughs> yay. Hey. <laughs> Hey, we'll bring it down for the people how Yee to the Yay went from six million to five hundred million. My nigga, my nigga Yee Yay. Yeah, uh, how you do that? He uh, cause he owned, so he do own a, his, his, his shit with uh, Adidas and Adidas. all that, right? Mm-hmm. But that played heavily into the ownership of Adidas. Mm. So like his brand, he owned Yay the brand, but it's incorporated into Adidas. So once they remove that shit out of Adidas, that that partnership and ownership of Adidas goes away too. Mm. So now it's just a little portion you have. Okay. So also with the Gap, he had a billion dollar equity in Gap with his ownership, just like Balenciaga, but billion dollar equity in Balenciaga for his partnership in them. So once they nullify that, billion gone, billion gone, billion gone, nigga. Yeah. Okay, now he had remember, ownership part. part remember when he said on Drink Chat, he said, he said Adidas yep. can't get rid of me if, if I even if I say anti-Semitic shit, they can't they can't get rid of me. Guess what though? The jig is up. He must not have read the fine print. He thought wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yay, yay, hey, wrong, nigga. Yeah, they, they, and the they jig got, is and up. They, and For they own sure. the copyright to them shoes. They're gonna sell his shoes without the yay on there now. 
So they just gonna put a DJ on that bitch. Embarrassing. Roasted that Damn, bitch. they on the mode. That nigga thought, yep, they on the mode. Damn. That nigga thought it was like that, nigga. It ain't like that. Embarrassing, brother. Damn, so, but, okay, you might have skimmed over and I might have missed it, brother. Uh-huh. Burner, how's he come into the hip-hop move, though? He's a rapper. So he rapped, too? Yeah, he got like 40 albums he done put out. Oh, okay. Yeah, Burner's a, a big rapper, bro. Damn, I never heard Not of him. Not that huge, though, but... but um, You ever heard of Burner DeFree? Okay, so Free never heard of him. You ever heard you of him? DC, you producer, so yeah. That makes yeah, Burner, yeah. He, but he's not like the biggest rapper, but he's a rapper for sure. But he got how many albums? Like 48. God. You just put them out all the time. You rich nigga, you just keep putting them out, independent. Just don't give a fuck. Yep. Three of them. Yep. Just, yeah, I'm just throw this out there for y'all. Yep. Damn. And he got the bag to do so. Th- Three of them. Yep, so you can do what you want to do. <laughs> Shout out to Burner, man. Yeah, uh, that's hard. Inde- Congratulations, champ. On that shit fully like he do. So he could do what he want to. They, so they was he the kingpin before the rapper, or was yes, he a he rapper? Was. Then he became kingpin. Then he became cookies. You know he was the kingpin before he was a rapper. And then he started rapping. Yeah. So he poured. Like, he poured like the Diddy move. He came in with the bizzle. He came. Yeah. He, he backed up and then he started rapping. Uh huh. Ah, but he already was probably living that life before he became the kingpin. No question. Or before he became the rapper. Obviously, before he became he a rapper, he already, he already had. So he had to treated. work his way up from soldier all the way up to kingpin. Yeah. So I gave him all his rapping content. Yep. And then uh-huh. I got the bag to go do Wiz Khalifa, boo, who wanted to do collabs with me. I got yep. the bubbles. Okay. Yeah. I got the weedery. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. All right. Okay. Yeah, that so makes it, was, sense. it was like an easy transition for him. Okay. But he did good. But his brand is so substantial, like how he do his clothing and it's how he just distribute his clothing, how he, you know, make his stores and shit. It's clothing so, crazy. Clothing is crazy. Like he did. I like crazy. the colors. Yeah, he, he did it. Legendary yeah. too. And he and he, and he, yeah. he plays to them colors and keep it in a certain way. He do it is wrong. Mm-hmm. So I take a lot of um inspiration from how I'm doing my new clothing line. Right. Like how I look and how you brand it and how you keep it, you know what I'm saying, crispy and mm-hmm. keep it on point to what you want and don't yeah. break that mold of it. So Shout out to Burner, bro. Um, yeah, and, and he got he give the game back too. How he do this shit? Yeah, and that's that's always the most legendary part. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because you get there's a lot of people that's successful in the world, but how many people gonna teach you how to be successful? How many people gonna get a game? How many people gonna get a blueprint? Right. That's the most important piece. Yeah, you know what I'm saying don't just be entertained. Find the game. Yeah, no question about it. But uh, I want to talk about this it. totally different change of subject, but. Jake Paul with old boy, he knocked old. Jake Paul with Anderson Silva, yeah. Knocked him out. Knocked his dumb ass out. Jake Paul got some motherfucking. He got power. In them gloves, champ. He got some motherfucking. I don't give a fuck no niggas. He was like 50, though, wasn't he? 47. Yeah, my whole thing. That's why I told my mother, oh, you should, I'm 41 now. Y'all got me five years ago. I'd have any nigga ass. Any ass would have been. Yeah, but now you might go down like, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> Shit, nigga, I'm 41 now. Y'all ain't stupid. Y'all niggas got me yeah. fucked up. He didn't niggas with that same overhead, motherfucker. I got to fight old niggas like me. I whoop any old nigga now. Yeah. But knowing young, spunky nigga been training for five, six years. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. I ain't that damn stupid. Yeah, that's woof. Yeah, that, oh, yeah he yeah. put him down, too. It was like how he did uh, old boy. Nah, it wasn't that. It was a little tap to the move, but it was a good combination. Nah, it wasn't a boom, full boom, sleeper. Boom. He, but yeah. he put him down. He face planted. No, he went on face planted. He tight. to the side. He, but he knocked him hey, down. It, and it he, all looked the same. And he won. And it's yeah. a super one, the greatest. Which one was worse though, Nate Robinson or the other dude, the Woody Harrelson dude type? Woody Woody, no, not Woody Harrelson. That's Damn, funny. hold on, man, hold on. Tyrone Woody. I up. fucked up. My bad. Where, where I get Woody Harrelson from? So uh, 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 Nate Robinson, because Nate Robinson really is fucked up since there. But like, I so, say the other dude worse. That's type MMA fighter. That's true, but I'm talking about it was so embarrassing for, um, for Nate Robinson. Way more embarrassing. And he like really. And fucked he was up. the first of the kind. Something type. really wrong with him after that too. Like you see, I even seen him. You have. Like, he really, was doing all the shows and everything. It's like high blood pressure. Like something really fucked up with him. Like type dying from that shit. Yep. I got the inside scoopery. Oh shit! Nigga fucked up for real, nigga. Damn! Shout out to that shit. Yep, that's why I shit ain't to play with, man. He yeah. hurt for he fucked up ever since. Yeah, because you know real. the human head ain't made to get right, hit, bro. At that trauma, and it, yeah, he yeah. fucked up for real, nigga. Like your chin, your head, it's, it's not made for trauma. Like we not made for boxing, y'all gotta notice. Nigga you know been fucked up ever since, bro. That's yeah. why you ain't seen him. Something really wrong with him. Like seriously, yeah. Shit. I mean, you see Deontay Wilder was sitting up there getting emotional talking about the dangers of boxing. Let's be honest. Shout out to my nigga Wilder for sure. Yeah, for sure. You know Knocked what I'm saying? Knocked that nigga out with the halfway cock arm. Yeah, he did. With a big well, ass Was he fully too. loaded? Dude, like big six, eight, motherfucker, 260 yeah. some shit. Yeah. Hit that nigga with this. Uh, and that nigga just. Uh, Deontay uh, Wilder needed that, though. Most God know Wilder first. needed that. Yes, he did. You know he can actually buy out after that. If, yeah. you, if you want to, but he ain't. He gonna stop. Uh, he, he, he gotta prove a point. He gonna fight Fury again and die. But hey. He ain't gonna fight Fury again. Yes, he is. You think so? Yep. I predict it. You think Fury gonna I don't think Fury gonna accept it. Most definitely he will. He don't give a fuck. There's no reason for him to Why accept it. Why would she gonna be a lot of money? Fury finna fight a nigga he didn't beat twice already. 
So he might, but Wilder are different. It's, you got a puncher's chance. Yeah, that, yeah, and he, that's why Fury he, he might not. Fury said, too, it takes a motherfucking years all my life taking a blow. Yeah, blows. I he remember him too. saying that. Yeah. That's why I say, like, I don't that think That is kind of true, though. I don't think he's going to do that, though. That's true, though. Why am I going to gamble with that punch? Yeah. Because one of these times he ain't going to get back up. I wouldn't fight him again. Yeah, for what? Because next time you ain't getting up. I won. I'm done. I he won every one of them. Risk his life getting in there with him. Yeah. And you don't even know what kind of damage he got to his brain by taking them water punches. He said that, nigga. He don't forget like, Foreman and Ali, bro. That I'm telling you, that probably came it. from Foreman, nigga. That, they did come from Foreman. Everybody so know that. So fight Wilder again if you want to. That's true. And Wilder ready to die, too. He knows this ain't going to be no easy just, you're yeah. going to have to take some shit now before you get, he ain't yeah. fighting Wilder again. Bro. I don't think so either. You're right. Oh, nah. But that would be legendary. But yeah. Tyson got a fight yeah, against, I would uh, watch it again though Of course He got a fight against another guy Like I said He beat him twice already He's gonna fight him again Another British black <laughs> Yeah but that's all like Derek Chisora Or some shit like that That's gonna be pretty cool I, I would still like to see him fight Joshua Joshua I don't think he'll do I still it. wanna see him fight him Both of them yeah, I, I want to see Fury fight, fight Joshua. Joshua too. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Ain't get it. Joshua ain't getting there Hell no nah. nah, Come on bro <laughs> Come on bro Like Joshua ain't that damn stupid that was the smartest thing he ever did not fight that day, yeah. especially now. Yeah, and you know what's crazy? Do you think it would have went a different route with Fury if, let's say if Wilder had got a, let's say Wilder and Joshua never, or uh, Wilder and Fury never happened. Right. But then he got Joshua first and cleaned his slate. Right. He might have went to confidence a little bit more with Fury. He had full confidence. He did, though. You're right. Fuck, I, I thought I was going somewhere with that Yeah, yeah, because he never lost. That's true. He was 40 and 41 knockouts. Nigga, you, nigga what you talking about? Okay, how about this? How about this? Let's say Fury never got up from the punch. And Wilder won their first fight. Right. Do you think if he had a rematch Fury, that he'd Fury would have beat up Wilder? He'd have knocked him out again after that. Probably, huh? Because yep. he got up. No yep. one ever got up like yep. that. So he pulled his that, card. And then got him to start punching him. So then he let him know, nigga, that was different. That was that yep. was the difference. That fucked in him it. up. That was the difference in it. Yeah, it fucked him if up. If he'd have knocked him out flat line and he lost, and he got a revenge. Mentally got him. And he got a revenge. Okay, let's go a rematch because type last was I was getting up at the end, let's do it again. He'd have knocked his ass out again. Probably. But nigga, he got up, took that shit, nigga, let's nigga, what? Yeah, it was, and, and, and the Wilder never seen that. Like, oh shit. shit, he got up. Fuck. They yeah. was supposed to call the fight though. They was supposed to. They were supposed to call he the fight when he first knocked him yeah. out. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But yeah, he was roll eyes running to the school. So tight. evidently, that one what he supposed to do because he got up and beat the shit out of him. They should have called it though. That would have saved Wilder life. They should have, and, and I feel they should. That's my but, little brother, but, man. Yeah, yeah, no question. Y'all definitely <laughs> brothers. Yeah. But I think, I think that I'm telling you, God didn't make it happen because Wilder needed to feel that pain of them losses. It humbled him. For sure. You know sure. what I'm saying? Like, he thought he was the most indestructible nigga in life. No question. You know what I'm saying? And I th you don't know what that probably, that probably did some, it probably it probably sucked for him on the perception he of went the did world. Told, he went and did told it up and all that. Yeah, yeah, he was doing the talking to shit and all that. That was wild. That was weird. What was that yeah, about? Yeah, shot the water, What man. the fuck? He to, yeah. yeah, he type, that was, whoa. I was like, he, he dropped twerking? the album too tight. Did you listen to it? Did you like it? Nah, I didn't listen to it. Okay, that's your brother. You ain't supporting your brother? Oh yeah, that's true. He dropped a song. You gotta song. support your little brother. He got a singing song, yeah. Yeah, you gotta support your brother. I gotta listen to that song. But but I say this though, I type forgot what I'm about to say. But the thing is though, is with Wilder and that shit, right? It's like it it probably was embarrassing for him on the surface level of him being that confident and fully, damn. Yeah. And then that happening. Yeah. And then next you know, but it probably did wonders for his personal life with his family, with his wife. With his people, it probably did wonders there. Because he came saying? back refreshed. Even Wilder is a natural slender guy like me too. So yep. when he got big, that two forty, that wasn't his mold. His mold is skinny man, kill you straight yep. man. Yep, yep, yep. And he realized that too. So that but when he put that armor on, that nigga looked crazy. What, what, when he when did he put big, that weight yeah, on, no, he put he that armor on. No, he was a monster. That, that nigga looked crazy. That in his National Geographic. Though. Yeah, he was a. Don't get it fucked up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Was he held fool, it good though. But he was slower. His shit is natural. The skinny man strength. But you gotta imagine that that power would have been there even more though. No, so you kind of get this concept. But it slowed him down. Yeah, with his the pain. Come, his shit come off. You need no more oomph. The skinny man strength. But shit, I mean, you got you can't blame him for recalibrating but everything had, after that. It was too much size bumping him. Yeah. So he figured, let me get bigger. Too ragdoll. That's not him. He, yeah. But his ragdoll is a strength because yeah. it's straight. This nigga no, from if he was ragdoll. You know what I'm saying? Too much. I'm saying yeah. he was too big and ragdoll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But his natural strength is from the skinny man strength from yeah. God. It ain't no yeah, muscle strength. Yeah, that that it just come from that. It wasn't no weight. Nigga was just he was born with that motherfucker. Yeah. So he's trying to reconfigure it. He be doing that motherfucker. He got that motherfucker. What he do? Just pull the motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, boom. Yeah, you hit that nigga with that, and that nigga, oh, he died. Cause that last nigga boy, and he barely hit him, and that yeah, nigga and was, it wasn't even fully cocked. He it grazed was, him with the bullet. Yeah, it, it wasn't like it he, was a bullet graze. He didn't hit the ground like oh, and like man, I hurt. He was yeah. oh, yeah, he was gone. Yeah, he was out of there. 
Leave yep. that nigga wide alone, bro. Yep, yep, Please yep, leave yep, that for nigga sure. alone. So, it, it, but it do give you a different type of respect for Fury, though, to know that he was taking shit like that on on back to back mooks. Right. You know what I'm saying? And was eating them tight. Cold. That nigga Fury is legendary. Fury is one of the most legendary fighters of all time. I think he's the but best. But you can't respect though, though. the Wilders. You can't respect Wilders like, like it's hard to like really fathom his. Uh, not respect is the wrong word. You can't really fathom how strong his hits are. Watching him fight Fury. But when you watch him knock out that last nigga, it makes you look back at the fight with Fury like, damn, well, this how? Because he knocked him down every fucking fight like two, three times. I know, but he but got up. Line. It wasn't no flat line. But like Yo, the first yeah, you know what I'm saying? Everybody else was flat line. No yeah. one got more flat lines than uh, Wilder. It ain't I, close. I believe so, too. Nigga like Mike Tyson. No, Mike Tyson no. wasn't flat line and eye rolling niggas. No, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this nigga was, niggas Put was niggas dead. dead. Yeah, niggas. nigga had to get out on a stretcher. Plenty times. Yes. <laughs> this nigga hit boom. That one yes. nigga folded Not up. even George Foreman had them kind of no. motherfuckers. That's yeah, what that's I mean. We fact. watched this shit, yep. brother. Yes, we did. No one is giving yep. nigga eye roller stretcher motherfuckers. Wilder's the nigga. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's why I say it's hard to fathom. Like, even though you've seen Wilder or Fury going down, right. it ain't until you see him fight a regular nigga when that's a full like, professional like boxer. That one nigga that he did in the light skin nigga hit that nigga. Clock the nigga legs. Oh my God, that was bad. And he was talking so greasy. Oh, uh, but he there's no way he believed he what just he was turned saying. a button off a nigga to just, it's just this, boom, like lights this. out. It's like when he blow up a building, that yep. boom, yeah, 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 he yeah. implodes C4. a nigga. Yeah, yeah it's C4. the brain. It yep. ain't even like the pain, it's just your brain get turned off. Boof. Yeah. Yep, it's just gone. I'm telling you, bro, them niggas probably got some damage done. All the niggas you hit like that. Man. So yeah. imagine if you hit a regular nigga. You're gonna Because if you said Jake Paul fucked up Nate Robinson type understanding, so, imagine yeah. what it's like to get hit by well, on the street, like what's up, nigga? Nigga hit you with the raw hand. Come on, man. Dead. Yes. Dead. No question. Dead. <laughs> you think if, 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 so here goes a big understanding. So remember when Tyson turned around and started beating the nigga in the plane, the right, white boy? Right. Wilder do some shit like, nigga gonna die. Yeah, raw hand is turning and go, ha! It's over. <laughs> nigga, nigga, Yeah, it's over. It's over. I ain't gonna lie to you, it's over. Nigga, it's gonna that, be That's off. the biggest test. And if Wilder was 50, I'm telling you, even if he was the same age as Mike it's Tyson. It's gonna be even worse, gonna be old man Old man strength. strength, yep. Over. It did. Come on, bro. Shout yeah, out yeah. to Wilder, man. Hey, bro. You think got... everybody ever gonna play with Wilder like that? You think anybody ever played with him? No. Like, no, since he's been a boxer, you know, like, man, fuck you, Wilder. Out there in the street. Yeah, just people do that like from afar. Them niggas is trolls and drunk weirdos. I didn't see yeah. them. Remember they did in England throwing drinks on them and shit? Yeah. But they in the stands, they gonna be like right here. Once that they did though, you think Wilder? You think Wilder got Wilder, enough strength in them to not? Nope, we're gonna hit him. Cause even Connor beat up the old nigga type in the mud. Connor is a gangster though. Yeah. Punch the old nigga just he playing. Good, he good fellas type. Playing with, playing with that nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take that yeah. drink. Nigga, stole all that old He like nigga. that little nigga on Goodfellas. What's funny? Yeah, what, what's about me? It's he funny. on that. He what's on funny that. about what the fuck I'm saying? Connor on that. <laughs> the nigga understand the Khabib shit, they slapped one of his homeboys. He was in Ireland. Let's get some yeah. understanding. Yep. He slapped his homeboy in New York City. Yep. He was in Ireland. He heard uh -huh. about it. Jumped on a private jet with 30 niggas. Got there the next day and did that. What is you talking about? <laughs> nigga is definitely motherfucking one of the ones. Sure. Nigga jumped on a jet, nigga from Ireland. Acting that down. With 30 niggas. He don't give up two motherfucks, do he? Nigga, come on, man. Connor, one of them ones for real. So who and you he think, got the bag. So who you think better fight, Logan Paul or Jake Paul? Jake. Mm. Logan lost every fight he fought. I did. Yeah. He did 30 with Mayweather, though. Yeah, he lost. He did lose, though. To a nigga, he's 60, And there was your verification move right there. Like, he already sent it. Like, he's okay. 60, 70 pounds. I'm late to the party. Than. It's all good. Okay. But, uh, but, yeah, shout out to Jake, man. I always make fun of them because they, they crackers. You know, I like to make fun of white people. But, any day, I do got <laughs> a lot of respect for him. I get what he do. And I'm saying I respect what that, they do. That was a racial slur, but. Yeah, fuck whites. But, um, Damn. it's still, um, I, it's admirable because we're in the same field. You just we like know. the white pussy. I love it's, it. Yeah, that's just your no, thing. I love it. So fuck the white, it's just especially, the white pussy. Especially blonde hair, blue eye, motherfucker. That's your type of pussy right yeah, there. I like good goddamn Adolf. Okay. Yeah. You were saying something about you were saying something the other day. You were talking about the Asian women too. That was actually pretty funny when you said well, that. I said about, you got to talk about that. What well, I said about Asian? He said you like a good nigga Asian bitch. What I do like black Asian bitches. I don't like yeah. regular just Asians or like a white Asian, like a, a Asian hood bitch. Yeah. I like that, and I don't like white girls that do that. Yeah. I like an Asian bitch though. Why? Why is that? I don't know. It's just something about how they look and they talk like that. It's just something that's getting uh, something to me. You know, for what real. Saying? Yeah, they look like a. The but not with a white girl when they do it. No, I don't like that. Uh. Hell no. <laughs> I like a Starbucks drinker. I like Cindy Lauper. Yeah. Listen to her. Yeah. I like a polka dancer. Okay. I like a square dancer. I like so country keep, music. Dolly Parton so, listening so, to so her. So keep it funny. I like a Kia driver. <laughs> so, I like a Jetta. So I like wait, a bus wait, driver. I don't like wait. no bitch on no motherfucking Caprice on twenty twos. I don't like a bitch in an Escalade with twenty four inch forty hollows on it. I don't like the bitch listening to Gucci Man. So is it okay OJ for the Asian bitch to say nigga though? Yeah. Okay. They niggas, but not the white bitch. Fuck no. 
Unless she fine, it's the first time I fuck. Okay. Say a couple times. The bitch out the fuck out of the set is already busy. Stop. So what, what terms can she say nigga under if you ain't fuck? Whatever. A white bitch? Yeah. There's barely there's gonna be a bear like in a song or oh this nigga like like okay. after before I fuck. Okay. But after that bitch ain't no more nothing. It's over with. Right, all right. Stop it. Okay. Don't even post nothing with nigga in it like a caption like oh this nigga bitch hey, it's over with. Don't do that no Okay. More. So but so it's safe to say, okay, what about this though? Right? You already saw Tay Flambe. Yeah. And then you in the puss type and she using the nigga. Hey, I, I wanna be Toby in the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna be Cooper Kente. Cooper Kente, Chicken George. No, I'm saying, I'm just, push it, push it. Nah, I ain't accepted that, brother. Ain't she shit. can talk about, yeah, I got you the black. Shit. She can say, I like the big black dick, give me, and all that ain't no nigga talk, though. We ain't doing that. And when you in there, she's like, give me that nigga dick. Nah, I'm gonna slap the other. He's going to jail. <laughs> you gonna pull out and just stop? Nah, I'm gonna fuck him. I'm gonna nut him out. I'm gonna make him make a nigga inside of him. Yeah. I'm gonna put that yogurt in that bitch. Yeah, yeah. Just play with me. Yeah, you're, gonna, you're gonna be a nigga too. Yeah. Have you? Bitch. But nah, I ain't gonna step that. I'm a, I don't gonna finish the pussy, man. Yeah, yeah. But then you gonna be like, hey, what was that about? You, it's gonna don't be you after? ever say that again, bitch. Okay, yeah. You know what okay. I'm saying? For sure. Yeah. We ain't accepting that. Yeah, yeah. But before we're gonna take a little bit. Okay. And she's fine. Right. But the Asian women, they could they oh, could fully nigga 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 nigga, 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 Oh, yeah, I wouldn't care. They, I would. they can be nigga, nigga, nigga all day. Uh, nigga, I am a nigga. <laughs> Damn. That shit don't bother me, bro. Oh, I like that. I like what they said. Yeah, so you like so you like a ghetto Asian bitch. Like yeah. she got But still gotta have handle business though. But she gotta you you prefer so a good Americanized Asian woman that you know what I'm saying? You ain't you rather have a good ghetto nigga Asian. But she had she get money handled business too though. But she talk with the slang, got the purple yeah, hair. I like that. I don't know about purple hair. I don't know. You know that something? I'm just saying, brother. Yeah, I don't know where okay. that's. Wednesday, she wanna have a couple purple shoes. She want like she wanna act black too. How do you act black, brother? No, I'm saying, like, if she want to have the purple with the red type with the understanding, maybe she want to listen to Cardi B type. How do you act black? I don't know, sir. I'm just I'm just throwing out uh, okay. intangible things. You mean she does like hip-hop culture, does like uh, the culture? Yeah, yeah, gotcha. yeah, sir. Yeah, that's fine. Sheesh. Because yeah, I don't know how you act. I'm trying to goddamn... Uh, I don't come know. On, I didn't know all black people act the come same. On, There's champ. a lot of black people, sir. Come on, champ. Yeah, let's refrain Come from on, that. champ. But, but yeah, um... <laughs> I, I, I do. I do something about that when they got yeah. the hip hop texture with it. Like yeah. I like that little niggerism in them. I like that. So, so they, you prefer that? Yeah, but they gotta have hustle out their own money. But you don't care if they take ghetto type. You done seen the ones that like ghetto with the talkery, but they got their money. They be hustling. They be fly. They know what I mean. Louis mm. up with the nigga. Yeah, okay. but they niggered up with the talkery. Okay, okay, I like them ones. Okay, but I like a white white a nigga Asian type. Okay, that rhyme. I like a white white and a nigga Asian type. Okay, three of them. Okay, okay. Damn. But so it's safe to say a Mexican woman could definitely say nigga all day. Then. For sure. That's Come just, on, brother. We niggas. Yeah, that's they all. niggas too. We niggas together. Huh? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I don't care. They're my people. We niggas together. You know what I'm saying? They're my brothers. Yeah. They're my brown brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? For real. They can say it. I yeah. don't give a why, why are you mad at them? Yeah. Puerto Ricans. Puerto Rican ain't nothing but black. They got dropped off. What about like a Sweden type of understanding? Cause they that's say, different. What about them? I can't accept it. They that's, white? They that's to, white. The that's, to the that's, look. That's, that's they natural open Norwegian type and them white. There's a different type of white, but that's pure white, man. Switzerland you know type? Yeah, that's pure. That's too much white. French? Denmark. What about French? Yeah, you too white. You, for you, you niggas too conqueror blood. Anything with conqueror <laughs> blood, that, that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't accept it. Bro. What about Alaskan white? You mean like an Eskimoian? Yeah, like the Eskimo. An Eskimo bitch can say it. Okay. She Eskimo. That's tight nigger dripping there. Okay, okay. They got Eskimo. Oh, okay. I won't fuck Eskimo bitch. That pussy got to be cold. Did you ever blood. get Samoan when you was out in Hawaii? I fought a Samoan there, damn okay. Tongan bitch, yeah. Oh, you did? I had a bitch, Ashley. It's crazy because she found me on Instagram following me. She was she from Netherlands. Oh, okay. And she had a layover here for a couple hours. Oh, that was Somewhere. more than enough time for you. What? Came here, yeah. fucked that pussy, sent her back on the plane in Netherlands. Oh, damn. Yep. Cream yeah. pie, I don't know, leaking the whole way. I was going to do it, but I didn't do it. I was still scared. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. You, didn't want, you was more considerate about her long flight. 
You yeah. don't want her to be leaking all over yeah, the seats. There's going to be too much di- 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 what's that biodegradable juice. Too much shit. organic ooze flow. Yeah. Okay, okay. But I definitely did that, though. This bitch was from Netherlands. Yeah, she was a tiny. Yeah, yeah, she was a tiny. She might hear this. Hey, bitch, you remember? Told that pussy up, didn't I? And it's sitting on the flight. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. It's had a three-hour layover. Came here for like, you know, all, all I need be about 15 minutes. You know what I'm saying? But she here for like an hour. So I'll tell you, give her a good talk. Real uh, fake talk. Fuck the pussy sitting around. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did that. Haven't talked to her since? She be on my Instagram tapping in sometimes. Oh, cool. okay. Yeah, I did that though. Three of them. Oh, yeah. That was a legendary one. I, that was historical of me, actually. That was fully, fully. Yeah, I, I do some masterful shit, man. Where did y'all go, man? That's but the it, no, I didn't do nothing. I was in Hawaii. I had my joint with me, so I was. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I was, you was being nice. I was being cordial. Okay, you know I'm saying. Well, that was cool. Of you, yeah, but I think that was very nice of you. It shows a lot of growth with you. I'm a growth man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. About growth, man. We're getting growth, man. Okay. Three of them. I thought you'd probably enter them with the end, and then you'd all been in there type could of Could have, could have, could have, but I was on more just enjoying the scenery and the natural habitatry. You know what yeah. I mean? But you I could take some time off. Yeah, I wanted to relax. Had to rekindle my greatness. Uh, organic sauce been getting too much understanding. <laughs> Ah, okay. They used all mine up. And I oh, told y'all okay. about that before. Yeah, you used up all the raw moves. Yeah, they was all nah, used up. All so used I had up, to, gone. Yeah, I had to go make it to the next month. Yeah, you got to be safe, brother. Yeah, it was in the month. My birthday on the 29th. I had to make it to the... And that's 41, too, so it's understandable. <laughs> to, yeah, that makes sense, Motherfucking brother. jig all the way up. Well, there y'all go. It, 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 it is, it is. The jig is up. Episode 53, the jig is all the way the fuck up, man. <laughs> that, is it. that is all, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all still tuned for the Top next the episode, moves, man. We up out here, man. Top of the podcast, Cliff, though. Tell him, man. Man, product placement. Y'all want some understanding? You know what I mean? Three. Going, yeah, I'm gonna tumble down, you know, with this, with a little bit of that, with a little bit of mm, yeah, yeah, little bit the beginning, that. man. Hit us up, man. Uh, ball or nothing else at Yahoo. Uh, yes. Hit that partnership, shout outs, whatever you need. We got Top you. of the Mook on TikTok yeah. and Instagram. Up everything, man. We go on top of the Mook with it, man. The best, biggest, most ferocious podcast oh, in the world. Man. Come on, Titan. Episode 53, yeah, nigga. We out of here, man. <laughs> yeah, really. Don't you be fucked up. Yeah. Don't you do that. Yeah. Don't you do that. <laughs> Top of the move, started at the bottom Dreamt of a Hellcat, now I got it Dreamt of a Corvette, now I got it Taking big leaps of faith, no doubts about it